My name is Justin Pate from the Rep Institute, and this is a technical video for Omega Skins, and the focus is on how to properly understand the film and get really good technical tips and tricks so you get the best results and a proper professional finish. And the focus will be on four topics, adhesive properties, the layering system, how they put the material together, then how the material works very well with heat so you can conform it really well to those bumpers, mirrors, and door handles, and then also how to finish those edges strong so they hold properly for the long term. And I'm joined today by Marco Boyer from Omega Skins. He's going to really go deep with us so you have a very clear idea. And with that, let's get to it. So the first topic is the unique adhesive properties of Omega Skin. Now, most brands out there have two features on the adhesive. They have airy grass and repositionable, which means the material slides, and if you get bubbles, you can press them away. Now, Marco, when you guys made Omega Skins, so you mm -hmm. actually took out the airy grass feature and just left the repositionable feature. Why is that? Well, uh, to be honest, in, in, in our opinion, they are too big. Yeah. So, so they are so damn visible, especially with high gloss. Yeah. So you see all the stretches. Yeah. And sometimes we got complaints for that. Yeah. So if you change them and then make those air channels very thin, yeah. that, like they are nearly invisible, yeah. it's, it still works, but you don't have any any visible lines or whatever. Cool. Uh, the only thing you have to know how to how to install that part. Absolutely. So that's where the wrapping suit came along in terms of this technical True. video. Is, yeah. What you have to think about with the mega skins now is because you don't have that air egress feature in full, because you have it in the micro with the repositional feature. Mm -hmm. So now in terms of install, Marco, mm -hmm. the main thing is right now. Instead of kind of using your glove a lot, which a lot of people do with those air egress repositionable type films, the idea now with Omega Skins is just now squeegee with firm overlapping squeegee strokes, kind of do it shorter to make sure all the air goes out. If you do get bubbles, they still mostly come away, which yeah, is cool. True, true. And almost when you want to install it like PPF and 10. Mm, true, true. You know, the whole thing is uh, because they are tinier, yeah. you cannot uh, spread the whole air. air out completely so, yeah. so, uh, so so you have to do that if it's too much it cannot go in the channels so yep. you have to do it overlapping yep. and and w with enough pressure and then there's no big deal at all actually then you're good to go and i think yeah. a good final tip too is other than squeezing like that is just when you're done with say a hood or a fender take your heat gun and just do kind of a slow check fix it a little bit yeah and if you see any air press it out and if you do have a bubble don't try to make it smaller because there's not those big air channels that will eat True. it yeah. take a tiny hole with the air release pin yeah. and then push it out and then you're good to go. But for the most part, it works like a standard film, but again, you just have to squeegee a little different. Yeah. Minor tweak, but the payoff is no channel collapse, which exactly. is paint like exactly. it's great. So with that, let's get to the next topic. All right, topic number two of this technical video is layering of Omega Skins. Now, if you've ever worked with Omega Skins, you might feel right away that it's a little thicker than other brands, and you guys did this on purpose. Yeah, true. Why true. is that, Mark? Well, the whole thing is, in my opinion, the colors has to be different. It has to be like car paint, yep. and we always want to have the wow effect of the colors. Sure. Uh, because in, our, uh, in, in, in my vision, a lot of films are like PVC films. Yep. And that's not what, what I wanted. So. Uh, to create a special color depth, you need uh, play with layers like car paint. Car paint is, for example, base color and then clear coat on top. Yep. And so what 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 I wanted is base film and then cast another transparent on top. Wow. So you get a color depth. Okay. So it's it's, it's not laminated. It's just cast. Put it back in the machine and cast again on top. So it's all fusing together. Wow. But sometimes we have three layers, and that's that's on purpose. Uh, it feels different. Yes, it's, it's true. Sure. But, but what you saw also when you heat it up during installation, it's no big deal. It feels completely the same. Yeah. But especially the yellows and the greens, those three greens, is three layers. Okay. The rest is all two layers. And why is that? Yellow and green is not opaque enough. Uh -huh. it, will, it will bleed through. Okay. So that's why sometimes from, from some other brands, if you sure. put it on the black car or on the white car, the color is different. Uh -huh. okay. Yellow, it turns out to mustard. And with this one, for example, has white cast first, yeah. then yellow cast on top, and then clear on top. Wow. So it's three layers. Okay. That's the only thing that you can create the opaque 
nice yellow depth, right. color depth. So if you're an installer right now, again, think about that. Is most of the films are 100 micron, some are 120, some are 130, yeah. and then the yellows and the green might be 150. And a lot of installers think thicker is not good for cars, but as Marco said, because of the unique process of how they do it, they actually fuse the layers together so they act as one. So the thick film is not bad if you use heat, and that's the third topic that we got right now. So it's very important to understand that. So let's go there. All right, topic number three is stability and stretch. Now, Marco, we talked just earlier about the thickness of the film. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of manufacturers try to make their film thinner because thinner kind of conforms easier around curves. And because how they make their film, thinner actually reduces the tension of the film a little bit. A thicker film, if you do it in a traditional way, kind of color layer, then fuse the lamination mm -hmm. on it, it builds a lot of tension. That's why a lot of people don't like thick film. But what very important to understand about Omega Skins is you guys, because how you guys made the film, kind of that double cast, kind of fuses together, thicker is not bad because how it works, because now that it fuses as one, heat is actually a really good thing. Cool. Let's talk about that. So, yeah. The, 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 the thing is, it feels it feels more more stiff and rigid in the beginning. People, yeah. oh, what's going on over here? I can cut it. <laughs> but <laughs> if you heat it up a little bit, yeah. just with a little bit warmth, it, it's, it's, it's like butter in your hands. 100%. And also what, what, what you see in your own video is that you can manipulate perfectly the spots you want. 100%. So it's, it's not when you stretch it, you stretch the whole thing. Yep. What you sometimes see on the bumper, people stretch everything. So everything, there there is tension in the film. Absolutely. And actually, it's not necessary. No. So now you can only stretch or de-stretch there where you want. And that, that's that's really cool. Absolutely. So the main thing is what I like about it, too, and we just did the video for you guys on the Tesla, mm -hmm. is the idea is that, you know, normally I glass out everything and pull it really tight, like what you just said. But with this, I didn't because I couldn't necessarily because of the stability of it, the thickness of it. But then, as we talked about, once I get to those points, I add heat and it literally shrinks into the car, which is really cool. So don't install Mega Skins like other brands, per se, and do the full glass. Get it kind of on get to the point and then you take a heat and you slowly go over the heat and it really conforms to those bits that you want. And what's cool is when you get to the outside edge, there's no tension. So yeah. it's a really interesting thing where you actually turn thickness into a good thing. And the beauty of it is once you get it on the car and you do it in that way with heat, the gloss is gloss, the satins and mats are beautiful, looks like paint. Mm. Plus with that adhesive that we just talked about, Absolutely. it stays for yeah. the long term. Great combination. That's true. <laughs> okay, cool. Very cool. Yeah. All right, so with that, let's get to topic number four. All right, topic number four, and the last topic is finishing, corners and edges. Marco, that is the most important part. <laughs> Absolutely true, yeah. Every time I go to SEMA, the first thing I look at on cars is corner game, make sure it's good, and also edges to see if they're yeah. lifting. Now, with the Mega Skins, it's very important to get it right. So the whole idea, Marco, is basically when you get to an edge, just don't take the material to the edge, go around, cut it. Mm. You have to do a certain step, and that is simply, very easy, pick the material up, add heat, let it relax for a second and settle on the edge exactly. and you're done. Cool. Exactly. Yeah. You know, actually, a lot of people in, 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 in the old, old school stuff, was, uh, for example, in the hood, make it warm and stretch completely on the edge right. and then cut it off and then it was done when it was curling up. And, and it's not necessary to do it that way. So the way that you said, just relax the edges and then push it down, that's, that's, that's the best way. But I think it's very important, just so you know, with other films, you know, we have a technique called cold pre-stretch where you take it to the edge, then you hit it with heat, then you cut. But the idea now with Omega Skins is don't take it all the way to the edge, hit it with heat. The idea is to keep it, let's say, two or three centimeters, about a half inch, mm -hmm. pick up the film or just kind of let it sit, then take the tension out, then take it to the edge, and you're good. So you have to kind of shift that tension before you get to the final edge. True. That now brings us to corners now. Lots of different corner game techniques out there. But the main thing is once you get your corner set and you cut your corner, don't just walk away. The idea is to add a fair amount of heat. Not, you don't have to get your IR thermometer. Let it settle for maybe a half hour at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Then come back and it's very important, Marco, too. Post heat. What's Absolutely. the post heat temperature for Omega Skins? 100, 105 Celsius. Okay. So not not 70 or 80, right. but 100, 105. Because it's thicker, too. Yeah. Of course, it's, it's fused, m multiple layers fused. Okay. So you need more more heat to actually to to, to, to simply reshape the, the, the whole film together and make it make it strong. Very yeah. good to know. Because if you don't post heat at the right temperature, you're not quite post heating and True. that's dangerous and that corner Absolutely. can come back. Yeah. So again, very interesting points. So now we've gone through all the points right now, Marco, we've done adhesive. Mm -hmm. So just so you know, with the mega skins, no air egress, but you're just focused on repositionable. Good reason for that. And then we have the multi-layered system. And now everyone knows why. Got that rich, beautiful finishes. Mm -hmm. Got that long-term durability. Then because of that, 
you have to use a little bit of heat, but that's a good thing. And the last thing is just make sure you get those edges right, relax them, and that's beauty. And then if you do that, Omega Skins goes on and you get a perfect, perfect. finish. Yeah, no, no big deal, then everything is perfect. Awesome. And awesome. nice. Well, I hope this technical video helps you better understand Omega Skins, and Marco, it's been great to talk to you about it. And it's always great to talk to the source, and now you know, dialing in just a little bit of different from Omega Skins will allow you to wrap those perfect wraps time and time out. Absolutely. Awesome, thank you, Doug. Okay, man. <laughs> Ciao. Thanks.